our route is going to be Lookers Left next to the Marine. So we're with the National Park Service and we are the aquatics team. So we're responsible for collecting aquatic data and glaciers happens to be one of those. And so we're up here checking on the Nisqually Glacier. It's one of the two glaciers that we do monitor in Mount Rainier National Park. And we're trying to get overall some uh, glacier mass balance measurements, understand how that glacier changes from year to year. Washington is a really special place to study glaciers. Um, about 65% of the glaciers in the lower 48 are in Washington. Um, and the majority of that are in the national parks. Um, so really, uh, really privileged here to be able to study those. So there's two types of glaciers. Um, we have the blue ice glaciers up high, which is kind of what most people think of um, when they think of a glacier. And then we have these debris covered glaciers down here, which is the same thing underneath. It's still ice, it's just covered in uh, debris on top. Glaciers are really big reservoirs of water, right? Water is the most valuable resource that we have. And glaciers provide us that water uh, in times when we need it, right? Throughout the summer and fall, when humans and ecosystems need that water. They also are really important for keeping the headwaters of streams cold. And so the federally threatened bull trout, which is really important in this park, um, depends on cold glacial headwaters, um, such as the ones provided by these glaciers. So glaciers are important for the ecosystems. When you look around, the environment actually marks the biggest extent of glaciers in our human history. Um, and so if you look up at the walls of the valley, um, that green uh, extent is where the top of the glacier was in human history. Since then, we have lost hundreds and hundreds of feet of glacier. When we were here in July, July 24th, we measured 1.24 meters to the top of the ice surface, to the top of the glacier essentially. And really what you're looking at now is between this segment here and the top of the ice that you can see there, that much ice has melted in the last three months. That's crazy. They are really great indicators of changing climate. Other ways of kind of noting climate change or documenting climate change are less tangible, but glaciers are really cool, very physical right in front of us. We can see it happening right here. So it's really important to get this data. And a lot of these studies wouldn't happen um, without the funding from people like Washington's National Park Fund. We always need the help of the scientists that are here at Mount Rainier. Uh, without Sam and Lauren, we wouldn't be able to make this trip happen. And without the funding, we wouldn't be able to have Sam and Lauren's position at all. So that's, it's pretty key. They are a multi-tool of research here at Mount Rainier National Park. And without the funding, we wouldn't be able to have their help. Coming to these national parks and uh, viewing glaciers, is you know one way to kind of gain the respect and appreciation for them um, and hopefully people will be more inclined to care about them and protect them in the future.